How do I import my Google Sites products into Easel if it's only for PDFs? How do I remove or add pages from the original PDF? Can I make a single assignment using multiple PDF resources? You guys have been asking all of these questions and in today's video, I'm gonna answer all of them and also give you some other tips and tricks. So let's go ahead and get started. Hi guys, really quickly, my name is Blanca from teachertechfiles.com and I'm a learning strategist from Las Vegas. And on this channel, I help simplify technology for teachers. And we also talk about how to be successful on Teachers Pay Teachers. So if that sounds like something that you're wanting to learn about and are interested in, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. All right, I promise you I'm going to get into all of the tips and tricks, but first, I really wanna thank all of you for your support. You guys are really coming through for me. In my last video, I mentioned that my goal was to get 100 subscribers by the end of the month, and only a week later, we reached that. So now I'm pushing the goal to 200 and see if you guys can help me get there. So if you think of anyone that might find my content useful, make sure you share out the videos and encourage them to subscribe. I also try to be as consistent as I can with putting out content for you guys every Saturday, but last week I was so busy and then just life happened and the next thing I knew it was Saturday and I had no video. So I'm really sorry about that, but I do have some really exciting changes coming up and I can't wait to share those with you. But anyway, now back to the reason that you're all here. I'm gonna start with the most common question I get, and that is, can I use my Google Slides resources with TPT Easel? And the answer is yes. Some resources may be better suited for it, but you can definitely still bring them in and adapt them as much as possible. But as you know, in order for you to bring in your Google Slides into Easel, they need to be in a PDF format. I kind of mentioned that in my previous video, but I didn't show you how to actually do it, so let me show you how to do that now. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is open your Google Slides resource. I'm going to be using this class pet activity that I like to use to incentivize the student of the week. I have a little stuffed animal that I introduce after a few weeks of school, and I let them know that the student of the week will get to take her home for the weekend and then write about all the things that they did together. I really try to build it up and make up a backstory for her and I tell them that they can dress her up or make her paper jewelry and they absolutely love it. They go crazy for it. So they try to meet all of my expectations during the week so that they can get a chance to take Perla the pig home. Unfortunately, Perla has been in storage for a little while now, but I think it's almost time for her to come out. The best part is that at the end of the year, you have this super sweet binder of all of their writing and experiences. I don't keep much of my students' work after the year is over, but this is something that I like to keep year after year. I kind of imagine that one day, 20 years from now, one of these students will come back and say hello and how special it would be for them to read what they wrote when they were so young. It may never happen, but I'm still keeping it. Anyway, let's jump over to the computer and I'll show you how to bring in your Google Slides into TPT Easel. I like to double check to see if there is anything I can do to better optimize it for Easel. For example, on this product, I can already tell that the writing lines on slides four and five are going to be replaced by text boxes in Easel. I also know that I won't really need the blank lines next to name and date because those will also be text boxes, so I can just remove them from this original file. When I'm ready, I just need to download these slides as a PDF. I'll go to File, Download, then PDF. It usually saves it directly to your downloads folder, but if you're not sure how to get that, then you can just click on this little arrow and then click on show in downloads. At this point, you can close out of your Google Slides tab since you're all done with it. I've learned that there's two types of virtual teachers, one that somehow works and manages 100 open tabs and one that works with less than five. I'm definitely the type that likes to work with less. If you are the teacher that has 100 tabs open, kudos to you. I don't know how you do it. But if you're this type of teacher, maybe you can give me some tips in the comments below because it kind of blows my mind when I see some of the teachers at my school with their 100 tabs open and they're still rocking it. So just let me know how you're doing it. Anyway, let's get back to it. Now that we have our Google Slides as a PDF, we can go to to easel and start getting it ready to assign it to our students digitally. Go to Teachers Pay Teachers website and hover over your name to the get the menu and then click on my easel activities. Now you'll want to click on create at the top and then activity. I have an assessment option because I am beta tasting it for TPT, but unfortunately TPT asked me that I don't create even a preview video for it yet because it's in the early stages and they still have a lot of features that they want to add in. But don't worry, as soon as they release the final version, I will show you how it works and all of the ins and outs. Okay, so now you'll want to click on upload a file and select the PDF that we just created. 
Next, you'll want to select the pages that you want the student to receive. In my case, I would choose between the blue or pink background and then also select pages three to five and click on import and then click save. I decided to leave the letter to parents in case the child doesn't know how to explain what we're doing to their parents, but I don't necessarily need it to be the second page, so I think I'm going to move it to the end. So just make sure that the page you want to move is selected and then you drag it where you want it. So for us, I'll move it over to the end of the assignment. So actually I just answered two of the most common questions I've been getting, which was how can I import Google Slides into Easel and how to add and remove pages from the original file. The next question I only had one person ask, but I think it's a great one to look into further. The question was, is there a way to create an assignment from multiple PDFs? And the answer is yes. This would be a good idea if you wanna give your students all of the work that they'll need for the week in just one assignment. Like maybe a week's worth of math work or maybe one assignment for the week that has all of the subjects in it. Either way, let me show you how you can do that. What you'll wanna do is click on create and new activity. Then click on upload file. Now you'll wanna choose the file you want to start with. As you can see, I have my language, math, and reading comprehension files that I want to use for this activity. I'll start with the math. Now we wanna choose the pages from this PDF that we want to assign. So I'm going to choose pages six and seven and then click on import pages. Next, I'll add in the reading passages that I want the students to do. So I'll click on edit pages and then import file. I'll choose reading comprehension this time and choose the pages that I want to assign. I'll just pick two at random here and then click on import pages. Now I'll do the last subject that I have here. You can of course continue to add as much as you want from as many PDFs as you want to. I also like to add some title pages to tell the students which pages are which. So you could also use these pages to add any directions or information that you want them to have. So to do that, I'll add in three blank pages and I'll rearrange them to uh, the beginning of each subject and then click Save Changes. Now I can add a text box on this first blank slide and add in any text that I want. It could be the title or any directions I want my students to have. For now, I'll just add a title page for each one and change the size to 100. Now I can copy this formatted text box into the other blank slides and just change the names. The last thing I'd have to do is add all of the text boxes and editable pieces for each page. I'm not going to go into it now, but I did show you how to do that in my last video, so if you missed it, go and check it out after this. The last thing I wanna show you is how to assign this assignment to multiple classes. This could be useful if you are departmentalized or if you teach junior or high school. There's two ways of doing this. The easiest way is to take the same code, click assign, and on the drop-down menu where it says four, choose all of the classes that you want to assign it to. If you go this route, you have to assign it to the entire classes. If you wanted to assign it to individual students within a class, you'd want to create new codes for each class. This could be a great way to differentiate for your students if you only want certain students from each class to have this particular assignment. So to do that, you'd go to Assign and Review at the top, and then on the left, click on Create New Code. You would create a new code for each class that you want to assign it to. So if you have three classes, I'd go ahead and create three codes. Then I can assign each code to each class by clicking on assign and choosing the right class from Google Classroom. Then on the right, you can click on all students and choose which specific students you want to assign it to. I think that just about covers the most common questions I have received about Easel. I hope you found the information on this video helpful to you. If you missed my last video where I went over how to use Easel as both as buyer and a seller, I'll go ahead and link it in the cards now. Again, I wanna thank you guys for helping me reach 100 subscribers, and I hope that you can help me get to 200 next. Be sure to like and subscribe and share this video with anyone that you think might find my content useful. Until next time, continue to be kind to one another, and I'll see you in my other videos.